My name is Jawad. I am a student of GLV department. Today I will present environmental impacts of them. Without delaying precious time, I am proceeding my presentation. These are the outlines of my presentation. I will give just a touch to definition, history and purposes of them. I will mainly focus on positive and negative environmental impacts of them. Dam is a solid barrier built across a river valley to store flowing water. Or in simple words, it is a wall created across a river valley to store water. The earliest known dam is Java Dam. It is present in Jordan. Today, Java Dam is not in use. From structures, it is dated to 3000 BC. The Kilani Dam is constructed in 2nd century. It is present in India. Kilani Dam is still in use. Usually, dams are constructed for energy, education, flood control, fishing, and for fresh water supply purposes. They also provide recreational facilities for boating, diving, swimming. Dams are also a good site for tourists. Now come to the positive environmental impacts of dams. Dams are usually built to control flood. Dams provide water for irrigation in a controlled manner. Usually, dams give us polluted free energy. For example, we can also get electric energy from coal. We can also get it from other sources like petroleum, etc. But the energy obtained from them is polluted free. Due to which environment doesn't affect. Now these are some negative environmental impacts of them, <coughs> and we will discuss it one by one. Dams trap sediments, which damage downstream ecosystem, fisheries, and cultivation. Now question is how it affects fish life. We know that most fish eat clay. The wall of the dam stop the movement of clay to downstream and this way downstream fish are affected. The wall of the dam also stop their migration. Now another question is how it affect cultivation. We know that during flooding flood plains are formed and most places flood plains are suitable for cultivation. After construction of dam flood plain will be not formed because dams control flood and it also stop the sediment supply and this way cultivation are affected. Dam failure has bad impacts on environment. Dam failure in 1889 and US killed 2209 people and deposited debris in some places up to 40 feet. Dam stop migration of fish and other organisms due to which ecosystem is affected. Water falling from high dam may trap nitrogen gas that enter into the blood of water organism and kill them. Nitrogen mainly killed migrated fish organism. Dead geological part may be activated due to great mass of water of dam. It may also generate new geological part. It may also increase the rate of pre-existing geological part. Another bad environmental impact of dam is it discharge cooler water 
vegetable downstream ecosystem and fishery. Now question is why dam discharge cooler water and how it affect fisheries and ecosystem. It is a general phenomena that with depth of a reservoir the temperature of a water decrease. So when dam discharge cooler water then the surrounding ecosystem therefore organism will be affected. Greater evaporative loss of water occur from dams as compared to river channel. Why? Due to greater surface area of a dam. Another bad environmental aspects of dam is it causes serious disruption in aquatic food chain. for many plants and animals as disturbed. Now how do we affect them? The mountain peaks mostly converted into high land. The best effects of sewage will be greater and they can compare to river. How because dam contains standing water, while in the river channel, water are penetrated during fluid. Then, period of erosion at the mouth of the river, or at coastal area. Let's suppose we have two river system. On one dam is built, dam is constructed, and here is no dam. So the rest, the sediment will be deposited here in the form of delta, while here will be no sediment. Because of the dam, because of this failure, this wall. Now, the wave activity of ocean. In this case, it will first erode the, the delta sediments, then after it will erode bedrock. While in this case, there is no delta formation, so it will directly erode bedrock. <coughs> So in this case, erosion rate is high and most of the coastal area will be drawn into water earlier than here. The, first, the best example of this phenomena is present in Louisiana Coast. You may search it on them. So the people are displaced as a result, environments are affected. Another very environmental impacts of them is that may convert the downstream area into wetland. These are the books from which I prepare this presentation. Thank you.